shot cam sorted out here getting her all set up and ready to rock they get such a cool angle i mean you can you can hold the hold the phone next to the side of it and, and do all that kind of stuff but it's just not quite the same the shot cam's really where it's at so kirk tell me a little bit about what's going on today uh we're gonna hit a warm water spring and hopefully slam five limits mallards that'd be awesome man i feel pretty good about it you know this is there's been a lot of talk since the uh, the last time you know everybody saw some of the amazing stuff that we got to witness and you know don't get me wrong i'd love to have it happen again i'm i'm trying not to set my hopes too high but uh you know where, where are they where are they coming from they're roosting i think it's either on the creek or just east of where where we'll be set up uh, on a it's pretty much all of this place out here is warm water so that's kind of why they congregate here and they got feed um, the farmer actually feeds all well not all year but from about november on they bring all their cows in and start running feed lines and stuff so it the birds tend to pile in i guess you could say out here because they you know they got ample feed they got ample water yeah it's one degree right now i can imagine the creek will be pretty locked up um but you know with this these warm water sloughs it can get i don't know it can get 20 below and it doesn't seem like they ever hardly Freeze. That's just crazy because I mean this is what three inches, four inches deep at most. I think so. Yeah. In places, you know what, two and a half, three feet wide, we're able to jump across it. Uh, you know, that's, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, super tight. But hopefully it'll be a good one. We'll run probably two dozen F ones, floaters. That should be all we need, honestly. You could probably get away with a dozen. It's just, it's tight, but, uh, it, you know, from the talk out here, there's a lot of birds. Hi. Hi. How's Ooh. your drive? Yeah, tired, man. Yeah? It was a long drive. How's that light? You like it? It's pretty bright. It's nice. <laughs> Good morning. You ready? No. I got what's in my other truck. Oh. Rooster, here. So we're out here, got all set up. A couple dozen floaters. We got the baby gun brigade out. We got a couple 28 gauges. Nick, what do you think? You think you can hold that thing up? It's cold. Neat little, neat little thing. Not gonna be too bad for you. No. Hopefully it doesn't take your shoulder out. <laughs> we'll see. Pretty tough. But already had a group of teal come in. We'll see. Maybe we can get a, uh, you know, get a nice little deal going, or we can just trade off, take turns shooting. But what we get, not gonna be too far of a shot. Dead bird, rooster, go back. I want to look. It's going to be banded. Oh, there he is. Kill him. Three no, drakes with one. Three, yeah. No, three drakes fell right over here. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, Man, this thing doesn't kick at all. Yeah. Kill him. Oh, oh, 
old creep left back some hot. There, back, got it right there, just behind him. Left, yes, good boy. Well, I should have called that oh, all good. Ducks are, I have not had any ducks land ahead of me. You know what I'm saying? They've all been on this side. Mm -hmm. I just hope it's still recording. Here. Yep, it still is, 37 minutes total. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, what's that? Hands, both hands. Third one. That's your right behind mama. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, not the tall one, my bad. <laughs> Another one that hands. This is a hand that has been with us. Heads up, heads up, heads up, right here. Drake, Drake, kill him. Drake, Drake, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> nice, boys. Give me some. Hey, Kurt. What's up? What do you think? How many is it? Rooster, rooster. What did we say? 10 15 is when they're going to start coming. 11 15 now. <laughs> Sat here for three and a half. Good boy. Four hours waiting on these dang things. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Dude, this happened. That was seriously the best. Duck hunt I've ever been on. Ever. Dead. Absolutely ever been Good on. Good boy. Good boy. You know it took three hours to start flying? Oh, it could have taken six if that were the outcome. That wouldn't have mattered. Look at this. What's the silver bracelet bean on it? Oh my god! <laughs> that thing almost freaking hit me! Oh, widgeon, 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 widgeon. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kurt, dude, thank you so much. That was what a blast. Amazing, uh, unbelievable, stunning, breathtaking, addicting, all of the above. Everything you could ask for, I guess, huh? Wow. I mean, you're looking at right there, we hopped across three and a half feet wide, yeah. maybe. And we were two feet from the bank. That would put those ducks at like seven feet. Seven and eight. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. That was awesome, man. I mean, to be able to knock out a five man limit of green heads, some beautiful green wings. I mean, 
Oh, just unreal. And there's still, I mean, you, you look around, there's just ducks everywhere. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is unreal. The later it gets, the more they start moving. And I guess you'll have that when it's one degree when you pull up to the, pull up to the creek here. I was nervous, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I was pacing around all morning till, what did Kyle say, 10 o'clock? It, it was 10, 9, 9 50. We saw the first, yeah. first birds there. No, I'm, I'm with you, man. And that after was... that, it was, hold on to your, you know what's, because, it didn't stop for an hour. Yeah. And we had 25 and. And then we sat down and took pictures and yep. just had a great time. My gosh, man, that's unreal. And this is, I mean, this is, I mean, I wouldn't ever call today a typical day anywhere, but I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you hunt up here late season, Wyoming and yep. doing all this kind of stuff. My but gosh, yeah. man. Small well, stuff. That's all that stays open up here. The rivers even freeze, you know, and these things get, they get pretty piled full. That's awesome. Well, what's the best way, I mean, if, if folks wanted to come out and, and do something like this with you, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Um, I'll give you my email. Okay. Shoot me an email. Great. Hit Sounds me up good. on social media. Perfect. Um, we'll put that email out and, uh, you know, put that on the video there. And, and that way, if folks want to get a hold of you and come out here for the uh, duck hunt of a lifetime. It's a good time, man. Yeah. From November on, usually it seems like we're, we start picking up our ducks. So, you know, anytime in that November, December... And then usually we're hitting geese pretty hard late December, January. And, you know, ducks, unfortunately, up here, the ducks close in the middle yeah. of January. And we've yeah. been trying to push that on to, to get that extended. So we're hoping that'll come through eventually so we can shoot ducks, you know, the full year. but Or at least till the end of the goose season. But Man, this early awesome. stuff, I guess it ain't really early, but... <laughs> it's not christmas yet it might yeah, as well be early yeah, exactly no that yeah. was awesome man well thank you again yeah. for all of us at dive bomb thank you this was unbelievable and yeah. man, glad to have to you guys us. up here man anytime uh, be careful with that yeah. <laughs> i'm sure i'll see kyle up here again <laughs> yeah, <good luck laughs> him out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a wrap guys oh my gosh thank you for watching it was easily easily the best duck hunt i've ever been on in my life. I think everybody who loves waterfowling should try to experience something like that at some point because I have never, I've never felt so intimate with these birds. I mean, it's just, just amazing. I, I don't, I don't know how you could beat that. But uh, anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, go down below, click that like button, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Uh, and, and thank you so much. We appreciate it and we'll catch up with you next time. And when you hear the sound of the drum, we'll be saying, here we come. Yeah, here we come.